Hello and welcome to another episode of JKEV. I'm Joe and behind the camera is Christina. So it could get a little exciting. Hi. It's Christmas time over here. Actually, it's Halloween. Happy Halloween. But we just got our Wallbox Pulsar Plus. We're gonna show you how to install it. But first, let's do some unboxing. So over here is what's in the box. <laughs> Realizing I shouldn't have maybe done this in the tailgate since it's gonna bang my head 20 times. <laughs> so this is the cord management system. We'll get that installed. Not sure, what, this is probably the hardware for that. I like that they include that so we can choose to put the cord in a different place than the unit. We'll show you that once we get to our installation inside. Some instructions. And uh, here's the unit itself. 25 foot long cord with the wall box. So a big fan of that. And especially the smart connectivity, which I'll be sure to go in deep about the app after we get this installed. Also, I should say durability. It just has a very nice feel in your hand. It's a, it's a good rubberized quality product. And to mention, we bought this ourselves. We weren't paid by Wallbox or anyone. This is our, our charger after pretty heavy months of research that we wanted to give a try to. Break time, cause you know, it's so much work. <laughs> so here's why we really like that the charger holster is not connected to the unit. Because our electrical is run way up here, our unit we're gonna put up here so it plugs in like that. If we had to put the charger holster way up here, that would be inconvenient to always reach up there and grab the cord. Instead, we'll put the charger holster right here and it'll be very easy. So the first thing we're gonna do, place this about where we want it to make sure that it can plug in properly. We're gonna grab the plate and mount that up here that the unit mounts to. The next step might be easier to complete before attaching the unit to the wall. We can go into the unit and dial down the maximum power to make sure that we never request too much power from our circuit. Since our unit is attached to a 40 amp circuit, the max we ever want to draw is 32 amps. So we can take this cover off here by removing the screw from the bottom as shown here. Then we take off this cover plate and that allows us to uh, pop the front off after taking off a couple, a couple of screws around the outside. Then once we get into the panel, we can open it up and you'll see this little gray screw uh, where you can dial down. And in the manual, it shows what each number, there's I believe eight settings on the screw and it'll tell you what each of those notches uh, does in the case of the charger. Those two screws help it from, because uh, as you saw, I put the unit on, those will hold it from falling off. What's nice about the compact size of this unit too, is that you can take it with you on a road trip. So I think on one of our future camping trips, we'll try taking it outside with us, since it also is NEMA 4 rated, which means it can withstand direct water being shot straight at the unit, which is much higher than some other units out there. So another thing I wanted to point out is, see the ground plug here? You want to make sure which you know which charger you're getting before you have your electrician install your 50 amp outlet um, because each charger is different. Sometimes you need the ground plug on the bottom, sometimes you need it on the top. So in the case of the Pulsar, you need the ground plug on the bottom. So I've installed the charger up here, installed our holster down here, and now it's time to plug the unit in. Units powering up right now. Would have been nice if we could have gotten the electrical box down a little bit lower, but it's kind of what we have to work with. So as you may have noticed when I plugged in the device yesterday, I had a red air light come up. This was due to a software update that I had to run uh, while connecting the device to the app. Speaking of the app, that is the best reason to purchase the wall box over other chargers. Um, in my opinion, the smart charging aspect of it is excellent. 
And I'll try to go in to some level of depth here shortly and show you all that the wall box can do. But first, now that we have this green light here, I'm not sure if it's showing up as green or white on the camera, that means we can go ahead and plug in the car. So we just take the cord here, plug it into the Volkswagen, and as you see, the light is flashing white. And you notice over here, charge does not initiate. And that is one of my favorite qualities of this wall box. Now you'll see the light change, hopefully you can see change from green to blue. It's hard to see in the light out here. Blue means the, char the car is connected and that the charge is scheduled, but has not started yet. So now it's after 10 o'clock, you can see the light is pulsing blue, whereas earlier it was uh, green. And then I believe it was um, solid blue when we plugged in the car. But now since it's after 10 o'clock at night, the car is charging. So instead of a white light, we have a green light here and that shows that the time of use is being taken advantage of. All right, so now I wanna spend some time and show you about all the smart features that the Wallbox app has. So I uh, log in right here, you'll see my charger once it finally connects. Uh, so there's the Pulsar Plus. Since the car is charging, it shows a blue icon. Once we pair up, there's some pretty cool features. You can see an instant readout of how much charge the car is using right now. You can also set the scheduling. So I have it set to take advantage of my cheaper electricity rates that I receive after 10 o'clock at night. So I go in here, choose what days I'd like to charge and um, set the start time and, and end time for my charge. Uh, here we can adjust what amps we want to draw. So for example, if the car only needs a little charge and you wanna make sure it has a nice warm battery in the morning, you can uh, lower, raise or lower the amperage. Another great feature is you can see all the charging stats. So I've set it to say that I basically have about a 10 cent kilowatt hour electric rate. And so I can dive down here into the statistics once I complete some charges and you'll see approximately how much I'm spending to charge my car. Here's where I set my electric rate. And now we can dig into the Volkswagen app and you'll see at about five and a half hours, it'll complete its charge. So please, if you haven't already, uh, like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more content coming soon. We're finally gonna start doing car reviews. So I'm actually headed to LA shortly uh, to drive a bunch of different EVs and see how they stack up against the ID4. But until then, be sure to check out some of our other videos and take care.